Um, hi, my name is uh, David Phillips from Ireland. Um, my question is quite a broad one, but um, could you explain what is background radiation and what relevance it has to um, the theories of what, um, what happened exactly in the Big Bang? Okay, and so you're asking what is background radiation? Uh, what astronomers mean is radiation that comes to us almost the same brightness from every direction in the sky. Uh, imagining that we're outside the Earth's atmosphere and outside the solar system to make a measurement. So this would be radiation that comes from the entire cosmos. And so that's why we call it background. We can't recognize any individual source. Uh, otherwise we would say, well, that radiation came from a galaxy or a planet or a star. So background radiation is radiation that has no ob obvious individual source must come from the cosmos as a whole. So there are several kinds of background radiation that we study. One is called the cosmic microwave radiation, uh, and it's the primordial heat from the Big Bang material. It's really quite bright. It's about a microwatt per square meter, and so it's hard for us to measure, but it's really quite bright. There are other kinds that are gamma rays or X-rays or other wave wavelengths of infrared where we haven't yet identified where all this radiation comes from, but we sort of imagine that it comes from uh, individual stars or galaxies that we just haven't been able to identify. And nevertheless, it's an interesting question because how do you know if you found everything in the universe? You have to be able to account for all of this radiation that may or may not come from something you know about. And so you're not done with astronomy until you can explain where all the background radiation comes from. That makes it interesting even though it's sort of hard to measure it. So the cosmic microwave background radiation is different from all the others that we know about because we think that it comes from the Big Bang material itself. And it comes to us from all directions uh, because the universe is so immensely large um, that uh, every direction that we look, we're looking at a piece of the Big Bang material when we look far enough back in time. So to us, it looks like it's completely uniform or almost completely uniform. Uh, so we can't detect a center or an edge of the universe by looking at this material. It's uh, very startling to people that we cannot find the center or edge, but there seems to be no center or edge. There is, on the other hand, the farthest you can look. You cannot see uh, back in time any farther than the age of the universe. So you can't see any farther than light will travel in the age of the universe. So there's an observable edge, but not a real edge, as far as we know.